<gasps> Are we ready? Yep. What do you think it is? Uh, a new phone. Look, look how big the box is. Let's see. Hold oh, D. Big up. What not cheese? Give me, give me five cheese on. Uh, watch your mommy? Ah! I probably would cut it. <laughs> 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 okay, you ready? Yeah. Look up to the paper. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! A new map? is great for all levels of fitness not just professional athletes let me show you how I roll grab a mat your foam roller and get on the floor with me I start with the backs of my legs calves specifically I rest on my palms and repeat a rolling forward to backward motion as I break up and release any tightness and knotting in my muscles make sure you get the outer and inner parts by rotating left and right as you roll And repeat, same thing on the other side. Now both legs in the center. And then just scoot it on up to your hamstrings. So when I ran my half marathon earlier this month, my hamstrings were on fire the day after the race, but using the foam roller really escalated my recovery time and I was back up on my feet two days later. Be sure to do one leg at a time and then together. Expect discomfort. It should be a little uncomfortable but never unbearable. 
Once you're done, it should feel the exact opposite. On to glutes, and this is another reason I purchased a personal foam roller for the house. I don't want to share this at the gym. <laughs> Moving on to one of my favorite foam rolling moves ever, upper back and shoulders. This feels incredible, so I make sure to spend a little extra time here. Alright, flip the script. So once you turn over, I'm just gonna put the foam roller under my knees and go for my shins. So I'm just gonna come down on my elbows, roll all the way up, and now we're working what else? I know you see it, core, that's right. Quads are next. Sure to get the outer thighs as well. So I linked my foam roller in the description below. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment below. Thank you so much for watching.